Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Dev King tutorial and guys in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about lerping. So what is lerping you may ask? Well let me go ahead and show you. So this is exactly what you'll be learning in today's tutorial. So as you can see there, like the little part, right, just moved into the blue part and it did it super smooth and super, it looks super clean, right? And obviously you can, you can picture how you can use that in games, which is why I'm going to teach you guys that today. Anyways, before we get started, um, make sure you, you watch all my other tutorials or else you may be very confused because I'm not going to be going over two basic stuff. This is the advanced series, so if you're new to Roblox scripting, watch the beginner series first. Anyways, link to that in the description. But yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to delete everything I have. Okay, and then I'm going to um, yeah, delete everything I have and then insert two parts into your workspace. Okay. Now, you saw in that demonstration there um, an example of lerping, but what, exa what exactly is lerping? So, in my own words, lerping is where you have a part, it's kind of like tween service, right? If you guys know what tween service is, which you should, but um, it's, it's kind of like tween service where you can have a part, right, and you can smoothly move it, or you can actually just make it so, well, you can, sm you can sm smoothly move it with a for loop, or you can make it so um, it's like a percentage of the way to another location. Now I know it sounds a bit confusing right now, but basically what I mean is, let's say this part's right here, right? So this is this is at 0%, and then this is at 100%, okay? And then this part, okay, right here, this part, okay, is at 0% because it's right here, and this one's at 100. So if I move it like right in the middle, it's at 50%, right? So that's what lerping is. You can move it like a percentage of the way to where you want it to go. So yeah, <laughs> you'll see what I mean here in a second. But that script I did at the beginning, the where I moved that part, it's actually only three lines of code. So it may it may look difficult, but it's not at all. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna waste stop wasting your time and let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, like I said, make sure you have your parts, and after that, you're gonna wanna go ahead and insert a script into your workspace. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna insert a script. So there we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and define a few variables as our parts. Actually, let me rename. Make sure you rename one of your parts to like part two because they're both named part, which you don't want. So yeah, rename one of your parts and then you'll be good. But anyways, so um, now that I have parts, two different part names, I'm gonna go back to my script. I'm gonna define the parts. So I'm gonna do local part equals uh, game.workspace.part. And then local part two equals game.workspace.part two. All right, now I have all my parts. Okay, so now I'm just gonna show you how to actually use the lerping function, and then I'm gonna show you how to make it move smoothly, okay? So basically how you do it is you get your part, okay? So part one, we're gonna make it go 50% of the way to this part, okay? So actually, I'm gonna put a marker here. Just, to, I'm gonna, the blue one is gonna be the marker, okay? Just so you know where we started. All right, that, that's what it's gonna be, all right? And also, it's on top of there, um, but um, yeah, okay. So the blue one's the marker. That's how you know where we started. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my part one, which is this part, okay. And I'm going to actually name that marker. I'm going to get my part one, okay. And I'm going to type part dot c frame, okay. If you remember c frame, which hopefully you do. If you don't remember, I have a tutorial on it. Go watch that. Um, links in the description or it's on my channel somewhere. So just go watch that. Um, anyway, so part dot c frame equals part two or no equals actually sorry equals part dot c frame and then lerp okay so what we're doing is we're setting the c frame of our part to something else by using the lerp function okay and lerp stands for like linear interpolation i don't even know you can look it up <laughs> but um that's what that's what it is okay so now this is how you use it okay so you do you know the colon lerp after c frame and then you have your two variables here, or two parameters, okay? The first one is goal. Goal is where you want it to go. So where do we want our part to go? We want it to actually go where this is. We wanna move it into here, all right? Or move it that way, okay? That's the goal. The end goal is right here, okay? So our goal is gonna be, right? Our goal is gonna be that part, that part C frame. All right, so I'm gonna do part two dot c frame okay and let me zoom in a little bit because some of you actually were saying it's a little hard to see which i completely understand sorry about that um i'll try to make sure it's not like that anymore but yeah anyways 
So make sure it looks like that. Okay, so we're gonna lerp, or so for the, we're gonna get the normal part, dot C frame equals part dot C frame, and then we're gonna lerp that C frame to the part dot two, which is our first parameter of that lerp function. And the second parameter is how far do you wanna lerp it? So what percentage, okay? And now hopefully you guys know how to convert decimal to percentage. What you do is just divide by 100, right, I think, yeah. So like if I had 50% and I divide by 100, um, we can actually use a script to do it. I would get point, uh, point zero 0.05, right? So actually, no, I get point, point 0.5, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what we could do is if you want 50% out of 100, okay, what we do is we do point 0.5. And if that math was wrong, I'm sorry, I, I don't think it was, but I, my battery's not working right now. But anyways, it's still, regardless, this is halfway, right? Point 0.5 is halfway out of 100%. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run it and it's gonna move halfway. So watch this. Now it's not gonna do it smoothly because we're just lerping it. If you wanna make it smooth, we're gonna have to do a loop function, which I'll show you in a second, or a for loop, which, which I'll show you in a second, second. But here we go. So here we go and boom, it moved halfway. All right, now I may not look like halfway because my camera's not halfway. But as you can see there, it moved halfway. All right, and now also, um, here's what I'll do, look. I'm gonna go ahead and run this, and then I'm gonna pop out this script. I know you've never seen me do this before, okay, it's a little weird. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in here, okay? Um, and then actually, if you guys didn't know, this is a little scripting tutorial part, okay? <laughs> you, if you disable your script and then re-enable it, it'll actually move. So if I change the script right now, and then I re-enable the script, it's gonna, it's gonna move. So I'm gonna actually put it to 0.7, okay? So that's 0.7% of the way, which is 70% to that part, okay? So it's gonna move 70% of the way to this part, and then I'm gonna disable it and re-enable it so it'll, it'll run the script again. So disable, re-enable, and see, now it's at 0.7, okay? And now I can put it to 0.8, and so on. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually make it look like good, okay? See, like, okay, now look at this. I put it to 0.9, right? And you see when it runs, it actually goes inside, but it pops out, and that's because can collide is on. So if I turn, oh crap. <laughs> okay, anchoring is off of both the parts, so it fell through the map. But if I, if I turn can collide off, which I'm gonna do, and then I turn anchoring off, it's going to actually merge. Or take, turn anchoring on, sorry, turn anchoring on, yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually do it um, with the for loop so it looks all smooth and nice, okay? So here we go, let me put that back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to make a for loop, so we're gonna do for i equals um, point zero, or actually, yeah, zero. So if you guys don't remember for loop syntax, I'll give you a refresher, okay? So for i equals zero, so this is our first, where we wanna start, we wanna start at zero. And then what do we want it to go to? We wanna go to one, right? Because the lerp is only from 0.0 to 1, so it's a decimal, right? So we're going to go to 1, from 0 to 1, and we want to go by 0 0.01, okay? So it's going to go up by 0 0.01 every time it runs through the loop, all right? That's, that's how it's going to work. All right, there we go. And then we're going to put this in there, okay? And now we're going to change, or we're going to put a weight in here so we actually see it happen. Because so if we don't put a weight, it's going to do it so fast that we won't even like see it. It's like the snap of a finger, right? So we want to make sure we put a weight in there, and then we're gonna put um, i for the for the last parameter. Okay, we don't want to put like a, a like percentage or how far we want it to be. We want it to actually slowly move with the loop. All right, so it's gonna move slowly. Now watch this, guys. Watch this. Here we go. We're gonna hit the run, and then watch it move. I, I'm, I'm gonna move it over here because it really can. It can be anywhere. It's gonna go there, but it's just gonna go um, you know that way. So here we go. And boom, look how cool that looks. Doesn't that look so smooth? Like, it's like tweening, but it's just a lot simpler. Um, also, if you guys are wondering, like, okay, well, why don't I use tweening or why don't I need to use lerp? Well, there's really, I don't know the difference between the two. Honestly, I, I can't tell you. I'm not going to lie to you. I do not know the difference between the two. I don't know if one's better for performance or whatever, but I think there's a thread on there on the dev forum, so you can look that up if you want. Um, it might be in the description or in the comment section if I can find it. But um, yeah, so I don't know what the difference between the two is necessarily. I don't, I don't know the difference. But either way, they're both useful, and you'll see them both for sure in scripting. So I wanted to teach you it as well. Anyways, I mean, we're not done with the tutorial yet. There's still a little bit more to cover. But um, look how cool that is, right? Also, another cool thing is it'll actually copy the rotation. Remember, it's C-frame. So it's going to copy the rotation as well. So if I rotate it this way and that way, and I make it look all cool, right? It's going to actually like move like that. So watch this. 
So, boom, look how cool that is, right? So it moves like that. Also, it works the same way if there's not a for loop, right? You can just you can just take that out of there and um, and then you can just set it to 0.5. It's also going to copy the rotation, right? It's just going to be halfway. See, it's not all the way rotated, it's halfway. So, yeah. Anyways, another thing is too, maybe you don't want to actually set it by a part, okay? We're going to put that back in there. But maybe you don't want to actually move it to a single part. Maybe you want to move it to a location where there's no part. Like, what if I wanted to move it right here when it's rotated like this, right? Obviously, I can't show you because I'm, I'm moving my camera, but. What if, what if I wanted to make it over here like that, right? So what I would do instead is, I don't need that part anymore, I can delete it. So I'll also delete that in my script too. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to just set a manual C frame. So how you do that is you just do um, you know the C frame. So let me show you, okay? So what you have to do is C frame dot new, and then you do zero, well, actually, you can you can do you don't have to zero, but this is like this is like your remember the first two values of C frame, this right here are gonna be your um, your position, okay? So this is like a picture like position, all right? So I want it to move to zero five zero. I don't need to move that necessarily. I'm gonna type in a random number like 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 actually I don't want it to be too big sixteen five um, seven or actually you know what. Um, 12 okay and then I'm gonna actually put it by eye again because it looks a lot nicer so we can see it move smoothly and now I don't even know where that is honestly I don't even know but I have my I have my script to tell me where it is so we're gonna hit run and we're gonna see where it goes whoa okay like it moved over there and now also guys you know C frame also contains the orientation so you can also rotate it with C frame as well so what you would do for that is you would multiply it right you would in the same in the same parameter it's the same parameter so don't go past the comma but you would put an asterisk symbol the multiplication symbol and then you do C frame dot angles right and then you set your angles so you do 0 90 0 now okay look this actually won't work now you think right you think okay I want it to be 90 degrees on the y-axis I put a 90 there no it looks a little confusing but you actually have to do math dot rad and now let me zoom out a little bit because you can't see it all but you have to do math dot rad and now oh oh gosh that was way too far why you have to do math dot rad I'll tell you right now so you see you have anytime you put an actual number for angles, you need to do math.rad. Now, what math.rad is, it's a function. I'm pretty sure I explained it before, but I'll explain it again because it's a little confusing. But it's a function that converts like the value that normally goes in here, which is actually radians or radians, and it converts it to degrees. Okay, so basically, normally when you when you measure angles, you use degrees, but they're, in trigonometry and stuff, they actually use radians which I've never used in real life, but apparently they do, right? Who knows? <laughs> um, but there, that's why you have this little function here, which basically converts the degrees into radians, so it just you can actually use it with degrees, right? So whenever you put something in degrees here, you need to make sure you put math.rad. So if I wanted to make this 45 degrees, I need to make sure I put math.rad. Now, I don't know what that rotation even looks like, but we're going to find out right now. So we're going to hit play again, and it's going to rotate, and it's also going to move over there. So let's hit play. And boom, look how cool that looks. See, it's that simple. Honestly, guys, I love lerping. It looks really cool. Um, it's like tweening, obviously, but it's just, it's kind of, it's more random because you can just plug in random numbers. I guess you can do that too for for tweening, but it's it's just easier to do it for um, for lerping. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the basics of lerping. Um, I think there's a little bit more to know, but that's pretty much all you need to know. I don't think we'll use lerping too much. Um, but also, guys, I just want to give you a quick reminder for those of you watching the tutorials as it comes out. Um, I'm going to be doing, okay, so just, I'm going to clear all this up, okay, because I get a lot of questions. Um, I'm going to be doing a GUI series, okay, so you know how there's stuff on your screen, right? If you're, if you're new to GUIs, you see how you have stuff on your screen, like in games, you have buttons on your screen that say click me or buy this game pass. I'll be making an entire series on everything there is to know about GUIs. So if you're worried about that and you're asking for that, don't worry, it is coming one day, I promise, okay? After GUI series, okay, I'm gonna be making a series where we make a game together. We're gonna make an entire game from scratch on video now it's gonna be really long I, I know but that's 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 like probably like a month or two away so it's, it's kind of in the future but um that will be happening soon um but yeah so first we're gonna finish the advanced series okay because we still have a lot more to learn and then we're gonna go to guis because guis are important okay then you need them in your game 
All right, and then we're gonna go into actually creating an entire game from scratch with you. Okay, so I'm gonna show you everything there's to know. I mean, you already know everything there's to know if you watch all my videos, pretty much. But um, yeah. So, anyways, but for the next tutorial, the one that's coming right after this one, um, I am expecting it to be data stores. Now, what are data stores? Some of you may ask. Data stores are where you save data. So you know how you um, like in games where you, when you leave the game and join back, you still have 50 coins. That's what you've learned how to do. So it's really exciting. That's pretty much like literally like if you watch all my videos, you're gonna basically know how to make a game from scratch. But there's still a lot. There's still some more stuff you need to learn, like advanced stuff. But the basics, you can probably make a decent simulator with with like from here or from the beginning of my series, my beginner series to like my next video. You'll probably be able to make a pretty decent simulator. So yeah. Anyways. Um, that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like always, if you did not already, join my Discord server. Link is in the description below. Make sure you join my Discord server, guys. I want to be doing some like game events, some game jams maybe, I'm not sure. But um yeah. Um sorry about the last tutorial too. I know it was a little 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 boring maybe, but um, you know, it, it was it was it's stuff you gotta learn sometimes. Stuff you gotta learn. But uh yeah. Anyways, that's it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Anyways, guys, peace out.